What's up you guys? Not ready here. So I want to give you guys an update regarding these uh, these games from the previous video. If you guys check that out, uh, I did pick up two copies of Smash Brothers, which is on one disc only. I got it for $27, which does work really nice in good condition. The second copy was only $20, and that's because there was a risk of not actually working. Uh, I did message the guy again, just like in the previous uh, uh, opportunity I did uh, message him uh, this guy and uh, he said that he I, I'd asked him if he had a uh, resurface to this 20 degree and he said no that he didn't have that kind of access so he was trying to get rid of it for twenty dollars and uh, so yeah I did end up going to fixable games of course and I did have him uh, try to give him a not a heavy um, a heavy uh, spin on it to resurface it but just to uh, he only kind of like um, buffed out the surface I guess you can say and um, he said um, he didn't have anything set up at that very point and he was really busy um, so he just went ahead and did the quick buff out and then, uh, and then that's, I brought it back home so I went to check it out and um, I was hoping I was hoping, you know, that I was crossing, you know, keeping my fingers crossed and um, that it would work. But I also wanted to show, tell you guys that uh, um, it's always fun to go into fixable games because uh, um, at this point in time, when I walked in with this game, uh, I, it was it was just for this reason. I, you know, uh, uh, besides the fact that I go in over there to hang out, I did take my PS4 to have him um, just kind of like have it cleaned out. Because uh, my my uh, PS4 has I think it's a 2015 model, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, and I think it was I really uh, thought it was a time for him to uh, open it up and just you know clean out the dust, any uh, fan buildup, and that's what he did. And um, so he did that for me. So he did a couple of few things for me besides trying to buff this out. And um, yeah, so I came back home after that finally. And I gave it a go um, three times, you guys. Three times, and I couldn't get it to work. Um, it just boots up to the just the very first screen uh, where it says Nintendo, and it just doesn't go further than that. So this disc, um, besides the fact that it looks really clean before I took it to Pixel Games and after the Pixel Games, it just wouldn't start. And um, he did kind of advise me that you know. Uh, when a game, uh, GameCube disc uh, doesn't want to start, doesn't want to play, uh, and you want to clean and you want to resurface it, you just don't. That's plain and simple. That's the way GameCube uh, games are. Um, but yeah, you guys, um, and like I said, it just two, three times it, it wouldn't go further than that. Um, and um, so, back to put this in the collection, not that I'm trying to accumulate an unfunctioning this collection but yeah this this guy doesn't work so what I'm gonna do is just uh, uh, take this disc out and put it in the in the non-functioning collection where I do keep securely separate not to mix it with the other ones and I'm gonna put in this uh, this functioning one in here so, okay you guys that's a quick update regarding this uh, this guy right here um, really appreciate you guys watching stay tuned for more videos